KSP fans, welcome back to Epic Space Program. I have in the VAB the vessel that is going to take brave Jebediah Kerman to the moon. We need science badly, and the only way that we're going to get the amount that we need it is going to be a manned mission to both research on the moon and recover all of that science back on Kerbin. This is the vessel that's going to do it. We have five stages to this uh, machine. We have a very heavy first lift stage. We have two more ascent stages, a transfer stage and landing stage along with our, uh, with our two science uh, mystery goo containers and a return stage. And all of this is going to have to make it to the moon and back safely, and we are actually going to attempt a landing. So for our science, we're going to have the mystery goo containers. We have a thermometer. We have the EVA reports and the crew reports. And of course, we're going to take a soil sample while we're there. So this ought to give us quite a bit of science, ought to unlock a whole ton of stuff. So without further ado, we're going to go out to the launch pad, and I will speed up the launch for you, and I will see you in orbit. <music> in a stable orbit. We're going to spin around the planet real quickly here, set up for our lunar, lunar injection burn, and as soon as we get there, I'm going to go ahead and speed this back up, and uh, I will meet you on our final descent on the moon. <laughs> Okay, we are on final approach now. We're not going to orbit, we're just going to come straight in for a landing. So we're going to get down to, say, 50,000 meters, and at that point we will begin our braking and landing burn. The key to, uh, to landing in, uh, in, on, on bodies that are uh, uh, that, that don't have an atmosphere is that you want to come in low and uh, as horizontal as you can so that you're not uh, so that that most of your burn is killing your uh, your horizontal velocity and you're not fighting gravity until the very end so we're going to go ahead and use up the rest of this fuel in that stage let that crash harmlessly into the into the moon and then come back down We've got a fairly high thrust to weight ratio because of the low gravity here, and we've got three engines, so um, we're going to do this in a series of braking burns and fine tune our, uh, our approach. We're like trying to keep our orbit or our, our velocity under about 200 feet per second. As long as we're there, we can make minor corrections as we need to, and uh, we still have plenty of fuel left, and we won't run the risk of so uh, we're going to do that. Speed it up. Do another braking maneuver here. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm kind of stair stepping this and I'm trying to kill as much of our horizontal velocity as I can. You can see our, our retrograde vector. There we go. We switched over to the surface. And now what I'm going to do is kind of look for a decent landing spot. And we're coming in over fairly flat terrain, actually. So as long as we don't land in that crater right there, we should be fine. Or we could land in the middle of it. Um, in fact, let's see here. I think I'm just going to let it come down, and we're going to see where we end up. But if I'm pointed, yeah, it looks like, actually, we are going to end up right in the middle of that crater. So that's not too bad. So I'm going to adjust our descent just so that we're coming in perfectly straight down. Yeah. 
We've got plenty of fuel for this descent stage. And I ought to be cool out, man. The idea will be we're going to land with this stage, do all of our science, go ahead and take off with this stage, and then ditch it so that it will crash back into the moon. So I don't like debris. I don't really want to leave any of that in orbit. Slowly killing our descent here. Coming in a little bit on the slope, so I'm going to do a power burn and just go in the middle here. Not too worried about it. Not running out of fuel, I think we're fine right now. Way too much there. Oh well. Just correcting. And come back down. And it should set us up nicely to land on some flat terrain at the bottom of this crater. So you can see our shadow coming in anyway. Let's see if you are. Ah, there it is. Okay, so we're going to watch that shadow for our descent. We can come in pretty quickly, maybe around 15, 20 meters per second. Over the rest of our velocity, we can go right before we touch down. And we're going to take off. As soon as we do, we're going to have our second, uh, our, our second. Mystery Goo uh, uh, experiment, and then I'm going to uh, just set set us right back down because I, I should have run it as we were landing, but I was kind of preoccupied. So uh, we're going to do this. And keep the data. Down so Jeff can collect it again. All right, so let's EVA Jeb. Run him over here, collect this data, and now we can, well, what are you doing? Ah. All right, now we can get back in and return to Kerbin.
fairly straightforward mission. Nothing, nothing's gone wrong so far, although we've still got our re-entry to do, and that's always tricky without parachutes. That's going to be one of my priorities, though, is now that we've got all this science when we bring it back, we are definitely going to get ourselves some parachutes. I'm tired of doing here. powered landings. They are too well, stressful, over. too difficult, and just take too much time. So we're going to blast off yeah, here. I'm going to watch here, make sure that uh, we ditch this stage, I don't, there we go. So we ran out of fuel, that stage will land safely. If we look here, we are actually in a perfect return trajectory, so we're just going to keep burning here until we get an escape back to Kerbin. We're going to coast up to our apoapsis now, bring that periaps back down to the atmosphere, do some aero braking, and hopefully have just enough fuel left to do a nice soft landing back on the planet. So I'm going to speed this up for you guys. I will catch you on re-entry. Passing through 15,000. And I know we've got some gone away. We should start getting some mock effects here soon. There they are. I'm going to turn SAS off and let us uh, descend directly into the airstream. It'll keep us on track here. We shouldn't have to make any force corrections. So, Yes, it was. Awesome. We are alive. Look at that. Successful return. 
And let's get ourselves up. Jebediah a little bit shaken, but seems in good spirit. So let's recover this. I'll be right back and we will see what kind of sounds we Well, I don't know about you, but I think that was worth it. 190 science. Let me go into the research area and we will see what we can unlock here. So first thing I'm going to do, I want, I want parachutes. I don't care how much science it costs. I am tired of doing manual landings. They are too stressful. Okay, we got the parachutes. I'm going to only go with the radials right now. We really don't need the, uh, the Mark 25 or the Mark 16, the, the smaller uh, node parachutes. Radials are fine. So now let's see what else we can get. We've got some of our more advanced radar tech. These radar dishes would let us send some probes to further distances, so that might be useful. We have landing legs. That would be helpful. Um, it would help us if we're trying to send more, more planetary missions where we actually get down on the, on the ground. We've got a couple of logistics nodes and heat shields and things like that. I haven't had too much problem even with deadly re-entry, so I'm not going to go with heat shields yet. We have some science that we can do here. We, we can unlock, ooh, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to unlock our materials investigation, our science junior. I'm going to unlock that. I want to continue to get as much science as we can. And I think I will go ahead and, uh, and go for the landing gear here. And then let's see, what else do we have? We could unlock our barometer. That might be useful. We can unlock stability and aerodynamics. I'm actually, I think I'm going to do, yeah, we'll do, we'll do that, and we'll do the logistics node. No, 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 here we go. Aerodynamics unlocked. There we go. That, that'll give us some larger engines, and we can get more out of the general rocketry. Okay, so that uses up all of our science, but we've got a ton of new parts now. We're going to have bigger engines, we're going to have landing gear, we're going to have new science experiments. So the next time, I think our next mission, let's our next episode, I think we should go, we're going to send a manned mission to Minmus. We've got all the parts to be able to do it, and that ought to bring us a whole ton of science. So that will be next time.